got it. I got it. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, you ready? The hoods? How many other? The hoods? I was gonna wait for this, uh, this one's check. Are you running out of time? Oh shit. You feel me? <laughs> Look at all this shit we're working on. Hey, I'm another technician. I'm gonna see this guy. What happened, bro? No. Fuck. I don't want this guy to let it go work no more. So I was only running on 40 horsepower instead of seven. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be working on the hatch today. The parts finally came in. I got a new exhaust header, uh, just a little cheap eBay one, and I got a new Yanaka cat back exhaust system that we're gonna install today. So hopefully the hatch will have a little bit of ump in it. So, so let's get the day started. You guys seen the previous clips uh, i've been riding open header for about a week or two now and um yeah uh, you just have to have the o2 sensor wire just unplug it from here and then there's one two three four five six there's nine 12 millimeter bolts on the top and it should slide right out should have plenty of room so let's go ahead and uh Unplug the O2 sensor. I'm gonna take the O2 sensor off the header while well, I got the exhaust off. So let's get that started. For the bottom, there's also a couple of bolts you need to take off to get the header off. You have where's that? A 14 millimeter bolt right there. You just take this one off because you won't be using this bracket anymore. And you got two 12 millimeter bolts that go right there. That needs to come off and the header should come off. And of course I have my exhaust already off because I sewed it. So you would have you know your two spring bolts that hold the exhaust to the header downpipe right there so I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and remove these two bolts and that 14 millimeter bolt all right next thing is to remove the o2 sensor I have my o2 sensor socket this makes life easier. Got my gun. Here's the new cheap exhaust header. It's a four to one header. K 
came with the bolts and the gaskets. It does have a two inch collector on it. So that's the upside to it. And it's also way lighter than the cast iron one. And plus it got two runners on here. So this should help the engine breathe a lot better. All right, I got the new, got the O2 sensor put on. Put the new stud and nuts on and a new gasket. The stock exhaust header versus the new one. So, so we should have plenty of exhaust flow. So let's put this on. Here's the clearance on the bottom. Not too bad. We're gonna wipe all the grease and fingerprints off. Paid three hundred dollars for the exhaust system. Pretty budget. It's two and a half inch, and uh, yeah, three hundred dollars shipped and everything straight from the website. Let's unbox it. All right, sick. Send me a Yanaka hat. Cool. T-shirt. Damn, it's a large. Can't fit that much in here. License plate and your hardware. you guys so I'm gonna start off with the axle back first you got two rubber mounts up here that you need to attach the hangers to and then there's also one more hanger where my fingers pointing so we're gonna get the exhaust I mean I'm gonna put the axle back in and feed it through the hole through this lower control arm Good thing to do is go ahead and lube up your hangers so that it'll slide in easier. Got the two hangers. I'm gonna go ahead and do the third one over here. Shoot him some PE blaster. Next up, I'm gonna grab my um, S pipe, my exhaust gasket, my bolts and nuts, and a 14 millimeter wrench and socket. And we're gonna put that on next. Okay, 
Next piece. You have the resonator. The resonator, a gasket, two nuts and bolts, some PB blaster. And don't forget to lube up your um, hangers to make it easier. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and wipe the fingerprints and oil and shit off. <laughs> 